say yesterday last topic file system operations in complete continuation see <coughs> vb script file system operations vb script file system operations part 2 <coughs> next example create a text file create a text file means flat file create a text file say we already discussed file system object only applicable for text files but we can create and <coughs> delete all types of files those are external operations if you want to perform internal operations for example uh, taking row count of excel that is internal operations for taking the row count reading you need to read the data that is internal operation file system object is helpless using excel application object you can perform internal operations say say file system file system object file system object is only <coughs> used for drives folders and flat files file which doesn't have any format next we can create and delete we can create and delete other types of files also but we can't perform internal <coughs> operations like reading writing etc okay na sujata okay okay na this concept yes sir okay see come to main uh, create a text file in order to perform any file system operation object required file system object required see dem obj fso next set variable equal to create object of class value scripting dot file system object next create text file obj fso dot create text file uh, path for storing
से सपोज फाइल नेम क्यू टी पी डॉट टेक्स्ट ऑब्जर्व ऑन डेस्कटॉप रन स्क्रिप्ट सी फाइल क्रिएटेड रन द स्क्रिप्ट वंस अगेन इट विल ओवर राइट नेक्स्ट अदर टाइप्स ऑफ फाइल्स सपोज क्यू टी पी डॉट डॉक एक्सएल PDF. Next, release the memory. Set OBJ FSO equal to nothing. Run the script. Observe on desktop. Madhuri. फाइल्स क्रिएटेड ना यस सर नेक्स्ट डिलीटेड टेक्स्ट फाइल डिलीटेड टेक्स्ट फाइल See delete file. Run the script. See deleted. Next. इंटर्नल ऑपरेशन सी एक्सटर्नल अंड इंटर्नल ऑपरेशन सी एक्सटर्नल ऑपरेशन सपोज क्रिएटेड टेक्स्ट फाइल is external operation you no need to open the file delete a text file ah uh, tell me sujatha delete text file external operation or internal operation kanti delete a text file external operation or internal operation external operation sir external operation sujatha can you hear me yes sir i can hear sir okay cool next check existence check existence of a file external operation count size external operation we no need to open the file next internal operations see for internal operations we need to open the file reading read see read three flavors 
read character read just a minute read character by character next read line by line next read all entire content next write see write continuously write continuously without break next write line by line next append means add content at end of the line write means overwrite next compare compare see compare two text files by size uh, this is not internal operation it is external operation we no need to open the file external operation next compare two text files by text internal operation compare two text files by binary values it is exact match binary values next search operations see these are the internal operations find the difference between these two madhuri external operations and internal operations give examples external operations uh, like create creating a text file and deleting a text file hmm. whereas internal operations are reading hmm. read write and append uh, the and compare the text read write compare search etc or uh, okay next how to perform external operations say using file system object using file system object we can perform external file operations next using text stream text stream object we can perform internal operations what is text stream object it is sub object of sub object of file system object file system object is main object text stream object is sub object how to create text stream object using file system object see using file system object we can create 
टेक्स्ट्रीम ऑब्जेक्ट नो स्पेसिफिक क्लास फॉर क्रिएटिंग टेक्स्ट्रीम ऑब्जेक्ट यूजिंग फाइल सिस्टम ऑब्जेक्ट वी कैन क्रिएट टेक्स्ट्रीम ऑब्जेक्ट इट इज नॉट मेन ऑब्जेक्ट इट इज सब ऑब्जेक्ट फर्स्ट क्रिएट फाइल सिस्टम ऑब्जेक्ट यू नो हाउ टू क्रिएट फाइल सिस्टम ऑब्जेक्ट सेट वेरिएबल इक्वल टू क्रिएट ऑब्जेक्ट ऑफ क्लास वैल्यू स्क्रिप्टिंग डॉट फाइल सिस्टम ऑब्जेक्ट नेक्स्ट क्रिएट टेक्स्ट्रीम ऑब्जेक्ट सेट फाइल सिस्टम ऑब्जेक्ट सी नेम वॉट एवर इट मैट बी से हियर वी यूज वेरेबल यू कैन यूज यूर ओन वेरेबल नेम इफ इट इज ओ बी जे एफ एस ओ आर ए बी सी आर एक्स वाई जेड सी दिस इज यूजर डिफाइनड की वोर्ड यूजर डिफाइनड की वोर्ड नेम्स लोकल से file system object dot create text file method create text file or open text file of file path see if file not exists if file not available use create text file method if file already exists use open text file method see file path comma file mode see we have three file modes file modes for text files file modes for text files uh, one is read read is built in constant uh, one one for read one is built in constant one for read next two for write next eight for append see default mode is read mode see read mode read mode is default mode suppose if you don't specify any file mode default read see examples see first example read a text file character by character read a text file character by character suppose on file
UFT Selenium Load Runner The path of the file First, declare variables dem obj fso obj text stream next one more variable my char my character set obj fso equal to Create object of scripting dot file system object. Next, create text stream object. Uh, tell me, Kanti, create text stream object. You tell me, Arthi, create text stream object. Arthi. Yes, sir. Um, uh, uh, set obj text stream. Mm, set obj text stream. Observe the syntax. Variable, oh, so the just a, minute, just a minute. Variable equal to, yeah, equal to mistake. Hmm. Set obj text uh, so stream. OBJ text stream is a, a variable uh. equal to equal to obj fso, which was the variable when we created. Okay, uh. this is dot, file system object. Uh, uh, dot. Uh, uh, dot open text file because we already have a file. Yes, we have already file. So file there, yeah. So uh, open type text o file. Open text uh, file. Of uh, uh, the path of the file. Path of the file. C drive, yeah. Double quote. Next mode. The name of the fi file mode, yeah. comma. One, one reading but if we don't recognize it would be by default right say you no need to write one why default mode is right mm. say next <coughs> uh, loop rec loop statement required do if it is while use false if it is until true do until obj text stream dot at the end of stream end of the data equal to true See, first it checks first character, end of the stream, no. First line, end of the stream, no. Second line, end of the stream, no. It will continue. Last line, end of the stream, yes, it will come out. See, true also default, no need to specify. Suppose instead of until, if we use while keyword, then obj text stream dot at end of stream equal to Sujata. False. False. If it is until false, if it is uh, sorry, if it is while false, until true. True is default. No need to specify. But false not default. You need to specify. Next. My char variable.
equal to obj text stream dot read read of one one character at a time one character at a time suppose if you if you enter two two characters at a time next obj text stream dot close internal closing of the file next release the memory first sub object next main object observe run the script c u f t c end of the line it considers as space and beginning of the line also space beginning of the second line second line onwards beginning next s e l e n i u m end of the line space next beginning of the next line space l c suppose if you specify two it reads two characters at a time c next read a text file line by line read a text file line by line see suppose variable my line a uh, change the method a uh, text stream object dot read line run the script see first line uft second line selenium third line load runner next read read a text file means read all all data entire content suppose variable name my content you can use same variable also change the method text stream object dot read all run the script see reading all can you view this one kanthi read all yes sir yes sir okay 
see it is small file you can view the entire data suppose if it is lengthy file observe this is lengthy file i want to read the data run the script see here no scrolling only some content visible not all not entire content only a few lines available i want to view entire content uh, for that use print command instead of msg box print command print my content see then it will open data in new window you can scroll the window run the script uh, observe just a minute view output observe this print log output pane observe sujata here we can scroll the data na yes sir and one more thing this print command is not global command it's not global it is local command only for uft you can't uh, you can't use that uh, print command in external library file suppose msg box function global but print command is not global got the point madhuri yes sir print command is local to yes. uft only exclusively created for uft print command is not a global vb script command it is only for uft next say i think all of you familiar with uh, reading reading character by character line by line and reading all next i will show one different example observe the requirement say <coughs> read button names from login dialog box read button names from login dialog box and export to a text file this is my requirement read button names from login dialog box and export export means writing uh before this one uh, we need to discuss uh, writing examples okay postpone this uh, requirement postpone that requirement writing export means writing next a real time example read a read test data from a text file and perform data driven testing 
data driven testing for login login functionality say earlier we did the same example uh, using data table first we imported test uh, we imported test data to data table using data table we connected test data this time no mediator no tool feature fetch test data directly from text file and connect see in parameterization chapter some uh, some examples pending see in this chapter we will cover this example read test data from text file and perform data driven testing okay na sujata we already did this example in parameterization na using yes, data table yes sir first we imported test data to data table using data table we connected the test data but this time no mediator no tool feature fetch test data directly from a text file and connect say just a minute first create a test data file any name see in data table chapter we used some syntax rules data table considers text file first line as column headers next second syntax rule in between two columns tab space is the delimiter here no such type of formalities for each and everything you need to you need to write the code here you can use any delimiter not only tab space say agent password test1 comma mercury next test 2 mercury test 3 next test 4 test 5 five records observe the first line is not first line is not test data column headers second line onwards test data observe observe madri here what is the delimiter comma is the delimiter comma only comma and space comma space comma space okay see test data ready next create the basic test you can use recording or keyword driven methodology or descriptive programming see run it once see executing In just a minute ah uh, next 
first declare variables dem obj fso obj text stream next create file system object set obj fso equal to create object of scripting dot file system object next create text stream object set obj text stream equal to obj fso dot file already exists type o select open text file method next provide the path of test data file path of the test data file next reading only no need to specify the read mode next observe first line column header is not test data first we need to skip that line obj text stream dot skip line what is the purpose of this statement what is the functionality of this statement to skip to skip the first line next do until obj text stream dot at the end of stream equal to true optional next loop okay see first line skip skip first line over next read from second line but every line having two fields we need to split the line based on delimiter using split function you can split say i'm taking one variable my line uh, first read lines one by one my line equal to uh, how to read lines one by one kanthi how to read lines one by one object test stream see your voice is very low increase the volume object test stream ah uh, object test stream dot read line good dot read line okay reading line next one more variable my field next split the line sujatha split the line based on delimiter split of ah, my line split of my line comma comma open uh, double quote ah uh, comma and space comma space good next my field is see we are storing we are assigning multiple values to my field variable 
more than one value. Now my field variable is array variable. Uh, connect test data madri agent password. Connect set first connect agent agent set. name. Set my field. My field. Ah. Oh. Oh. RT. Zero. Uh, my field of zero. My field of zero. See, we are store. We are assigning two values in this scenario. Two values. Two fields. Uh, my field of zero first value that is agent name. My field of one second value that is password. Yes. Suppose four four fields are there. My field of zero, my field of one, my field of two, my field of three, like that. Next password. Any confusion, Sujata? No, sir. No, sir. Okay, cool. My Next, uh, insert uh, wait statement. If you want to observe the test data, it is optional. Next, at end, complete the formalities. First, internal closing of the file. Close. Next, release the memory for text stream and file system objects. Say object equal to nothing next set obj fso equal to nothing run the script see first it is taking test 1 test 2 Test 3, Test 4, Test 5, okay, see this time we read the entire content all records next my requirement is read range of records not all records range of records just a minute See, 10 records, I want to read 4 to 7 records. I want to read 4 to 7 records. 4 records, 4, 5, 6, 7. I don't want first 3 records and the last 3 records. This is my requirement. See. Read test data range of records example four to seven records in this scenario. from a text file from a text file and perform data driven testing
understand the requirement madhuri uh, yes sir okay we have to get the test data from 4 to 7 records 4 to 7 record range of records okay see first take line count one variable line count line count equal to zero sir you have a typo there the line e is capital line five okay anyhow not case sensitive okay okay yeah sorry yeah okay cool read. cool cool but coding standard required use small letter if we use small letter in declaration try to use small letter only but not case sensitive line count equal to zero first read line next line count equal to line count plus one ha, next write the condition if observe I remove that skip line also skip line method also I want to read uh, four to seven records fourth record means one two three four fifth line up to seventh record means six seven eighth eighth line see if line count greater than four and line count less than less than eight, eight or equal sir less than or equal to eight Otherwise, you can write less than nine, na? Nine. Just a minute. See before loop, end if. Run the script. See fourth record. Test four. Test five. Test six. Test seven. Over. See this is about reading range of records. Next, write data to a text file <laughs> write data continuously. Just a minute. Suppose num1, comma, num2, comma, result. num1 equal to 10. Use colon to join, uh, to join statements. num2 equal to 20. Next, a result equal to suppose num1 plus num2. 
next obj text stream dot type w uh, write result and one more thing a write mode write mode is 2 and you no need to save the file here no save method if you write this statement what is the statement obj text stream dot close text stream dot close obj text stream dot close close means save and close close means save and close Uh, run the script over C30. You can use message also. Suppose addition of num1, comma num2 is concatenate result run the script save writing run the script once again suppose a value 10 b value 30 Observe this data. Result 30. Run the script. 40. It is overwriting now, Madhuri. Did you observe this one? Overwriting now? Ah, yes, sir. See, Before it was 30, now it's 40. Ah, earlier 30, this time 40. See, write data to a text file. Next, append, right line I will show later, append data to a text file. Uh, Kanti, what is the append file mode? Eight, sir. Eight, Eight. good. EIT is append mode for text file. Suppose this time 50. Already one line is there. 40. Run the script. See, adding now, Madhuri, but adding continuously. In text yes. file, no breaks. Run the script. See, adding continuously. Uh, suppose you want to add line by line. You want to add line by line. Uh, see, use write line method. Dot write line. Just a minute. You remove this content. See, blank file. Run the script, open the file, see first line, next append, append, 
second line <coughs> observarti appending line by line na yeah yes sir okay see Uh, sir. Ah. Sir, can we write uh, in the same line with space, giving space between the append statements? Giving space for the append statements. Just a minute. You want space. You need yes, to specify. Sir, it's writing continuously. Writing continuously. So, if we, if we give space, can we do like that? Writing continuously with space. Okay, na? Without. Yes, sir. With space. With space. Say blank file. Run. Open the file. Why it is taking this one? Just a minute. Run. See. First, first iteration. Next, if you want space, here you need to specify the space. observe okay na ah, yes sir i got it ah yes okay thank you sir welcome sir can i ask you one more question ah instead instead of space and the comma we can do the same thing right yes Just put the quote and the comma, comma then okay It sure got it got quotes, it use okay. comma yeah thank you yeah got it okay say Uh, next uh, earlier example say a read button names from login dialog box and export export means write and export to a text file okay see read button names see in this script combination of description object and file system object text stream object description object where we use a description object in dynamic descriptive programming we used a description object see dem o button you can use xyz also next buttons obj fso obj text stream o button buttons okay first create file system object just a minute we have that statements just to write to next create a description object set 
वेरिएबल सपोज वो बटन इक्वल टू टेल में सुझाता क्रिएट डिस्क्रिप्शन ऑब्जेक्ट वी ऑलरेडी यूज्ड दैट सिंटैक्स इन डायनेमिक डिस्क्रिप्टिव प्रोग्रामिंग चैप्टर कैन यू रिमेम्बर माधुरी description dot create next enter property see button of see which one is indicating button class class name ah uh, class name just a minute tools objects by take hand icon show the button here <coughs> observe the property class name class name what is the value of class name win button win button see class name dot value equal to test object class name test object class name suppose if you specify win edit that is edit box win button button next store the object reference set another variable button c equal to ah uh, who is the parent of the button in this scenario who is the parent of the button dialog login dialog see dialog of login dot see in methods chapter i didn't explain child objects method it is time to use child objects of see for that login so many childs edit box childs button childs etc but i want button childs only this o button is indicating button class see o button not all childs only button childs next msg box buttons dot count just run the script observe sujatha how many buttons three buttons sir three buttons next i want to capture button names see for loop required i equal to say button index starts from object index starts from 0 to n minus 1 0 to n minus 1 See three buttons na zero zero to n minus one means two. Otherwise, you can like you can write like this. Buttons dot count minus one. Next, ah, uh, writing na. obj text stream obj text stream and don't use equal to obj text stream next buttons this one buttons of i index dot say button name get r o property a uh, kanti which property indicates button name in windows environment 
text sir text good text property text next we already discussed no save method in file system object model object test stream dot close means save and close next release the memory equal to nothing next set obj fso equal to nothing run three buttons object text just a minute okay here method required dot write line run the script over Observe Sujata, exported now. Yes, sir. Okay, cancel help. Okay, cancel help. Suppose if you want a field header before this for, for loop, right? OBJ text stream. Right line. Button names. See optional run over. See this one also optional. Say Next, same example, web, say, read link names from read if, read if home page and export to a text file okay see You just generate one statement. Say, uh, for web, instead of class name, use mic class. Microsoft integer conversion class. Ah, uh, here observe Sujata. What is the test object class name for link object? URL sir. What is the test object class name for link object? Kanti. Is it is it link sir? Link, link. only. Link only. Yeah. Observe yeah, link only, yeah. Link only. Page, page only. For example, link money. What is the class name, Sujata? Link, sir. Link only. Link only. 
say link you use this uh, hierarchy just a minute <laughs> uh, sir i think is buttons is buttons oh enough see link names this one also optional link of i run the script observe marking yellow yellow arrow marker captured link names okay na madhuri suppose if you want serial number suppose sno sno equal to Zero. Right line. S N O. Concatenate. again concatenate a uh, run the script a uh, just a minute increment required sno equal to sno plus 1 over open the file observe madri serial numbers yes sir 288 links next uh one more example reading data from application object and write say read read customer names read customer names from 1 2 Ten records and export export to a text file. Just a minute.
See, generate that script. Open an order and read the customer name that is irregular operation step generator <coughs> show the object next get our property of text property variable suppose customer name Next, export this one. First, for loop for i equal to 1 to 10. i equal to 1 to 10. Uh, next OBJ OBJ text frame dot right line customer name uh, if you want serial number SNO concatenate again concatenate SNO equal to zero. SNO equal to SNO plus one. Next, if you want a header. OBJ text frame dot right line customer names put base state and run the script <coughs> open the file <coughs> observe Sujata, customer names from 1 to 10 records captured and exported now yes sir Next, see, I think all of you familiar with uh, reading and writing examples. Next, uh, comparison. See, important example, concentrate. Compare. Compare two text files by 
साइज नेक्स्ट बाय टेक्स्ट एंड बाय बाइनरी वैल्यूज सी एस की वैल्यूज एग्जैक्ट मैच सी कंपैरिजन एग्जांपल See two text files. See A, B, C. Copy the data. Same data. Another file. E X Y Z. E X Y Z. See same data. See uh, already we discussed the size comparison is external comparison using main object file system object you can compare. But text textual comparison and binary comparison. Textual comparison, binary comparison, internal operations. First, we need to read the data. Uh, to do that, we have to uh, use text stream object. See first dim obj fso. Create file system object set obj fso. equal to create object of scripting dot file system object Next close statement set obj fso equal to nothing. Say here uh, two files now. You take two files into variables file one. File two. File one equal to save. Next file 2 equal to same location file name xyz uh, next condition required for comparison before that just take the file size just to take the file size msg box see manually size how many bytes sujata size 164 bytes 164 bytes first file Second file also same, 164 bytes. See, MSG box, OBJ FSO dot get file, get file. Uh, here provide the file path, get file of file 1. 
dot size property size next file 2 you can add message also suppose file 1 size is again concatenate bytes what is that one in terms of bytes only uh, bytes okay next second one file 2 size is bytes uh, just uh, run the script observe kanti file 1 size is 164 bytes file 2 size is 164 bytes suppose you add one character one byte extra run the script file 1 size is 164 bytes <coughs> file 2 size is 165 bytes okay na kanti sir yes sir okay remove this character next compare 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 to text files by size condition required if obj fso dot get file of file one dot size equal to obj fso dot get file file 2 dot size then say you can write meaningful message msg box files are same by size else msg box files are not same by size uh, run the script files are same by size just add one character in the first file uh, run the script see files are not same by size Remove this one. Okay, now Sujata, size comparison. Yes, sir. Next, 
textual comparison uh, for textual comparison and binary comparison reading first we need to read the data file uh, text stream object required text stream object required and one more thing up to now we handled single file only in every example single file only but in this example two files we can work with multiple files also but we need to create multiple text stream objects remember main object file system object always only one but text stream objects one or more one or more if you want to work with single file single text stream object if you want to work with multiple files multiple text stream objects see in this example uh, we are covering not only comparison working with multiple files concept also see two files now create two text stream objects obj text stream 1 next obj text stream 2 say obj text stream 1 say compare two text files by text see obj text stream set obj text stream 1 equal to objfso dot open text file of file 1 next obj text stream 2 equal to file 2 say text stream objects created next read entire content into variable entire content into variable see read 1 read 2 see using str comp string comparison function we can compare two strings or two variables but not two files no problem you take entire file content into variable then you can compare variables see read one equal to read entire file one content kanti read entire file one content into read one variable uh, one dot read all good one dot read all next read to equal to obj text stream to dot read all next condition if str comp of read one comma read two what is the textual compare mode sujata textual compare mode two sir no. right uh... for string comparison function what is the Textual compare mode. Madhuri. One, sir. Is there one, one sir? One. one. Yes. Zero binary, one textual. Zero is default. Equal to 
suppose we file a read 1 equal to read 2 then result result is 0 don't confuse this one is compare mode this 0 is result result constant see msg box sir can what? i ask you a question why you have equal to zero why oh, you are asking qu that question first of all this is compare mode only no no i know but equal to zero you said is for result why result I result understand. required now suppose uh, what is our what is our intention read one equal to read two then files are same Na, uh, otherwise files are not same okay what is the okay. equal to uh, equal to read one equal to read two if read one equal to re read two then what is the result false zero zero, zero. 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 okay okay got it now say if read one greater than read two one oh. if read read one less than read two minus one Minus one, yeah, got it, sir. Less than or not the criteria. Here files yeah. are equal or not. So read one equal to read two. Then result is zero, na? Yeah, sir, I got it now. Yeah, sorry about that. Okay, Compare cool. Okay, cool. cool. Thank you. you raised a good question. Cool. Files are same by text. else msg box files are not same by text uh, next obj text stream one dot close internal closing of the file next obj text stream two dot close next release the memory set obj text stream one equal to nothing next set obj text stream two equal to nothing Next, one more comparison is there. Already we read the data. Simple. Compare two text files by binary values. and see character codes see this is exact match see You can write any meaningful message. Exact match now. Files are same. Files are not same. Just change the compare mode. Instead of one, Sujata, change the compare Zero mode. Sir. Zero. Zero, sir. Otherwise, you no need to specify. Remove that zero and comma also. This one. Okay. <coughs> Just a minute. Run the script. See, files are first output. Files are same by size. Second output. Files are same by text. Last output. Files are same. Exact match. Just a minute. Make some capital letters to small letter.
say uh, no difference between uppercase and lowercase values in case of textual comparison next size comparison also no no difference but binary comparison difference exact match then what is the first out what, what are the three outputs kanti in this scenario yes, files uh, are same by size files are same by text but files are not same by binary okay. values yes last output not same run the script <coughs> see files are same by size files are same by text but files are not same see this is about uh, comparison of two text files and we covered working with multiple files also say how to work with multiple files uh, tell me arti how to work with multiple files multiple text files excel files is different how to work with multiple text files madhuri uh, by comparison of a text mm, you have no relation with comparison sujata kanti how to work with multi <coughs> multiple files see in this example we worked with uh, multiple files how uh, by using external operations and internal operations mm. by using multiple text stream objects by using multiple text stream objects any confusion sujata no sir no. Uh, if you want to work with single file create single text stream object if you want to work with uh, 10 files create 10 text stream objects but main object or uh, file system object always only one <coughs> next search operation is there search operation for search operation regular expression object support is required regular expression object support is required just a minute see uft is a functional and a regression test tool uft uft next uft is an object based test tool next eft doesn't support unix operating environment
C. My requirement is my requirement is count count how many times the word UFT appeared in a text file. Understand the requirement, Madhuri? Yes, sir. Uh, See, we uh, have to count uh, how many times the UFT has occurred in the Appeared text in a text file. Say, observe. Here we use UFT. Uh, some uh, small small capital also we have to count using script see for search operation a regular expression object is required <coughs> anyhow we will discuss regular expression object in regular expression chapter now just concentrate on search operation as per microsoft documentation regular expression object is unmatured object no specific class value for creating regular expression object using using new and regex regexp keywords we can create regular expression object using new and regexp keywords say dem OBJ FSO. First, we need to read the data. Text stream object required. Text stream. Next, OBJ regex. Next, matches. See, we have those statements. file name ABC a read only next close statements next create a regular expression object set variable obj regex equal to here no specific class value for creating regular expression object as per microsoft documentation it is unmatured object using new and regexp keywords we can create regular expression object here no context help no context help also see obj regex dot pattern equal to our pattern search pattern is eft next obj regex dot global equal to true uh, what is the functionality of this statement to find all matches otherwise after finding the first match it stops searching if you want to find all matches use global equal to true to find all matches next obj regex dot ignore case 
equal to true. You can easily guess the functionality of this statement. Uh, Madhuri, you can easily guess the functionality of this selected statement. Uh, we can ignore the uh, uh, upper class and lower class um, yes. characters. Uh, to ignore cases, upper or lower. It will consider all cases. Considers upper and lower case letters. Okay. Next. You read entire content into variable. I take one variable. Suppose my <coughs> content. My content equal to. We have to search the FT word in this content dot read all <coughs> next store object reference set variable matches equal to obj regex dot execute of what we have to execute? Content. My content. Next count. Matches dot count. MSG box matches dot count. Next release the memory for regular expression object also set obj regex equal to nothing run the script six matches suppose if you don't use this statement then it will count Upper case only. Run the script. Upper case 4. See 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Next. Just a minute. All. Ignore case. 6. Suppose if you don't use this global statement, ah, then what is the output, Sujata? It will not uh, uh, take UFT if we all uh, search. It will not search for all the no. matches. What is the output? Four. Madhuri, what is the output? RT You have output is UFT mm. Where we are displaying UFT Two sir. Oh No it, it won't find all the matches there. Won't f What I told after finding first match it stops searching it stops. It won't find all the matches. All the matches. After finding first match, it stops searching. Means it's first stopped. match means uh, one match available, na? Yes, sir. What is the output? One. One. Run the script. One. See, if you want to know at least uh, one time that EFT is available in that. Uh, 
text file or not you can use this uh, uh, you can use this uh, usage uh, without uh, global equal to true any confusion sujata no sir uh, if you don't use global equal to true statement after finding first match it stops searching means one match one ft available it it will return only one suppose if we use global equal to true statement it finds all matches run the script one next remove this one uh, now global equal to true all matches total six matches next uh, suppose ignore case no statement then it will find only capital letters run the script four say See, just uh, one minute. Note. Regular. Regular. Expression. Object is. Uh, how first uh, we will discuss later. Just uh, create a regular expression object. create regular expression object no specific class value no specific class for creating a regular expression object mm. using new and regexp keywords we can create regular expression object Okay, uh, next class, Monday, we will discuss uh, Excel application operations. Okay, we will meet on Monday, same time. Thank you.